Hi guys and welcome back to another celebrity skincare review video. I really love making these videos so I hope you guys are liking it. If this is your first time here, my name is April. I talk about skincare, makeup, beauty, and I also review celebrity skincare. So if you're all about that, make sure to join the family, hit the subscribe button, and yeah. So today's video is going to be about a singer. Her name is Zara Larson. I don't know too much about her other than like she's a singer. She's really young. She's like 24, I think. I saw her video on the Vogue channel and I really wanted to talk about her skincare today. Without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. I have uh, super oily skin and whenever I put on makeup, it just eats it right off. So I always need to like powder so much like bake everything, setting spray, just for it to not just melt away. So my first step after a long day is obviously to wash my hands first. Especially because I have long nails. Uh, preferably, like at home, I would have a little brush for under my nails. And you kind of forget that because, I don't know, they just look nice, but I promise you there's a lot of stuff underneath that you don't want in your face. I always change my routine like every month because I'm obsessed with buying skincare. So whatever excuse for me to buy new skincare, I'll take it. This month I'm into Malin and Goats and I love this cleansing oil so much. So you just do two little pumps and then you rub it in your hands and just smack it on your face. And it feels amazing. It's just, oh gosh, it feels so good. And just rub it on my eyes just to get all the mascara off. And then what I do, a makeup wipe or I take like a towel. And first I just wipe it off dry. Because even though this is amazing and melts off when you apply water, I still feel like this just makes everything come off really easy and then you just reapply it and then I take some water on it. Got the worst off, bam. Doing it one more time. Actually got into an oil cleanser or an oil based cleanser when I was working with Clinique, uh, which was about mm, two and a half years ago maybe. I did a commercial for them and then they gifted me like a lot of stuff after that. And one of the stuff was A cleansing oil. All right. <clears throat> so now everything is basically off, but we are not done, my friends. Oh, and I am so pale. I haven't seen Mr. Sun in about probably two years. Like I've actively stayed out of the sun because I heard it isn't good for you, but I, I don't know, I should, maybe I should get back in for like one second with 50 SPF on me. But I also have some hyperpigmentations. I used to have really bad skin. I'm breaking out a tiny bit, getting on my period and stuff, so that's just life. Also, me going to sleep at 5 a.m. every night. <laughs> Moving on to the micellar water. Okay guys, so I love that she started out washing her hands. That step seems to be, you know, missed out on a lot. So I really love that she did that because yes, our hands are really dirty. I am definitely one to forget sometimes, but that's actually really good to know to do that. Also, I noticed she didn't really use a makeup wipe. I've been noticing like a lot more people are starting to not use makeup wipes. I don't have a problem with makeup wipes as long as you're following up with like some type of cleanser and just not, you know, depending alone on the makeup wipe. I don't believe in just like cleaning, washing your face with only a makeup wipe. I feel like you should definitely always follow up with a cleanser of some sort and try to stay away from makeup wipe that has fragrance in it because that's just not good for your skin and also rub really, really, really gently when you use a makeup wipe. I also noticed that she says she used to get melasma, I believe, from the sun and stuff, but it's starting to clear up, so that's awesome. Yeah, I'm um, not too bad. Let's see what the rest of the routine has. Micellar water, and this is cute because this is like a tiny packaging. I love everything tiny. And it's nice to travel with. Bioderma, I think I bought it in Paris after seeing literally every makeup artist use this one. So yeah, I would just kind of wipe it all over my face just to get all the impurities off. Sometimes I'm bad and I fall asleep with my makeup on 
And I know what happens when I do that. Like, I wake up and I break up. I don't know. You really, really shouldn't. Like, it affects me. I have some friends that they always go to bed with makeup on. And um, they have flawless skin. So I hate all of you. Next step, it's this toner from... Okay, uh, looks like she just used a bioderma, I believe, in micellar water to further get more of the makeup that she might have missed on her skin, and this is awesome. And this is fine because she did mention that she has oily skin, so there's nothing wrong with that. If you have dry skin, try to stay away from using micellar water because it will further dry out your skin. So yeah, this is a really important step that she just talked about because sometimes you just don't get all the makeup off and it's always, always good to go, you know, to do more than do less. So here, more is definitely more when it comes to wiping. Owner from Darphine. It's with chamomile, so it's calming. And it smells absolutely wonderful. It smells almost a bit like bananas, but it feels really, really good. It's for sensitive skin, which is, why not? I don't have sensitive skin, actually, at all. I can basically put whatever on my skin and it's like, okay. But it feels really good and calming to have this on after I've um, had, had taken the micellar water. Just to be double sure that everything's off and that your skin's clear. Okay, it looks like she just used her toner. And you guys, if you watch my videos, you know that I'm not the biggest fan of toners. I feel like it's kind of unnecessary. But a lot of times products will change up the pH in our skin and the pH of your skin should always be between 4.5 and 5. If you feel like you have disrupted the pH of your skin by probably using a lot of alcoholic products, then definitely use a toner. Next up is the Sunday Riley's UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. This is one of my absolute favorites. It's really suitable for me because I definitely have blemish and blackhead prone skin since it's very, very oily. So I put this on, also this has 1.5 salicylic acid, which I love, we love the acids. Then you take it, just a few drops, and uh, yeah, I just wipe it all over my face. If you have good skin, and you only have a few breakouts, you can always take that and like dip it on um, just the areas where you need it, but I feel like it's my whole skin, so I'm just gonna take it all over my face. Uh, and then preferably, I would like this to sit for a few minutes before I put anything else on. It's been with me for a long, long time. I think one of my dancers told me about it, and I tried it, and I was like, wow. Now my skin's actually super okay, but it used to be really, really bad at one point. And that's when I got on that, and it kind of just cleared it up. I don't know. What I will be mostly concerned about having oily skin is to not dry it out. Because a lot of people are like, oh no, I have oily skin. I need to like wipe all the oils off and I can't have any oils on my face or any like moisturizer because then I'll get oily. And now it's time to move on to the moisturizer. So she just used a face oil. If you watched my Serena skincare review video, then you know that I, I don't like that. Putting oil before any other skincare products is kind of like doing damage than good to your skin because the oil would just sit there and not let other products penetrate. Yes, she was right about saying, you know, it's not bad if you use oil and oily skin. But again, in this case, it's not going to do anything for her skin because the rest of the products, I think she's about to put on a moisturizer, it's not going to penetrate. So just be aware of that. Which also doubles, funny enough, as a makeup primer. But I actually love this one. Uh, also used by a lot of makeup artists that I've seen. This one is also very hydrating. Even though it doesn't feel light, it's like when you put it on, because it's like also a primer, it does kind of like help the skin not produce too much oil, but at the same time hydrates it. So I'm just gonna, and it smells delish. It smells wonderful. As I said, I just I try out things and see what works or not. And yeah, let me know if, if I'm doing it wrong in the comments. <laughs> I do get facials when, um, when I break out. Really, you should get on it, because even though la I, I love laser, I <laughs> love laser, and it's basically the only thing that works on me. But now lately, my skin's been like, all right, I'm gonna be, be okay to you, I'm gonna be good to you, uh, but laser, just like everything else that you put on your skin or take orally, like medications or antibiotics to clear up your skin, what really makes a difference is 
how you feel from within, like what you eat and uh, if you take care of yourself. Like I haven't slept since last year, I feel like. But sleep if you eat good and uh, if you're not stressed, you know, all that. So all the facials are, are just a tip of the iceberg, but it definitely helps to clear it up. So that was my night routine of five steps. I hope you enjoyed watching it and have a good night. Okay, you guys, it looks like she only uses like two products really, the oil and the moisturizer. And I love a good moisturizer. I just feel like she should have definitely put the moisturizer on before the oil so it just seals in that moisturizer in there. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.